So today when we deploy cloud gaming, we typically do it over fiber, over cable networks, or even uh, over ADSL networks. Now 5G adds something very important to the game, which is you can actually play on the move. Because 5G has a special properties that allow you to play AAA gaming, high quality gaming, wherever you are, as long as you have 5G coverage. So this is what it brings to the table. So telcos around the world are looking for use cases for 5G technology. And uh, we're working with a number of them to uh, provide sort of the most extreme use case for 5G, which would be cloud gaming, but instead of streaming a standard game, you know, such as it could be, I don't know, the, the Rise of the Tomb Raider or uh, Street Fighter, we stream a virtual reality game. So that really requires better latency performance because when you are in virtual reality, it's a 360 degree experience. Therefore, whenever you look at you know, a different place, you expect the reality to be, to be there immediately. So that is a proof of how 5G really uh, behaves and it adds new value to the mobile technology today. So 5G, really the two hottest markets in 5G are the US and South Korea by far. So in the US today you have already uh, 5G deployed with Verizon uh, and South Korea, the three key operators have, operated, have deployed already uh, there. So these countries are, again, the most advanced uh, uh, ones. Now, in developing countries, which you mentioned, uh, the, power, the power of 5G is that, of, of cloud gaming, is that you can stream to low-end devices. And the penetration of video consoles or gaming PCs is very limited there, it's very expensive. So let's say if a PlayStation 4 in relation to the average wage in the US is one, in Argentina is four, in Brazil is 16, in India is 67. So what cloud gaming adds is the fact that now you can enjoy gaming without having to buy an expensive piece of equipment. You could enjoy the latest game on a 10-year-old PC, for instance.